guys for thank you for tuning in today. Uh, I'm actually going to do a review on a uh, muzzleloader I bought last year. Uh, I've had it for a while and I've used it and uh, I've got familiar with it and you know just shot it enough to where you know, I actually harvested a deer with it this year. Uh, killed an eight pointer up in the day of muzzleloader. Uh, but I just wanted to come to you and give you a review on it. And, uh, so if you got any questions you know on about this rifle and stuff if you want to buy it, if you're looking into buying it or whatever and uh and I figure I'd you know do a review on it since I've had it and I've had it for a while and I know how it works and how I use it and stuff so but uh first I got a uh, bought the rifle. This is the rifle I bought it at uh Walmart actually for I think I gave around a hundred and seventy hundred eighty dollars something like that uh, I bought it was just clean the black synthetic stock with the uh, blue barrel it's not stainless or camouflage and about like that uh, I don't figure that really helps me in the woods I mean I feel a lot of deer with wooden guns so I mean I guess camouflage is just just for looks you know but I'm sure it might help at some point but uh it did not come with the scope that's on it uh, it comes with fiber optic sights, uh, which I have removed from here and here. They've been removed because uh, I don't use them, and I really can't use them with this scope on here. Uh, but at this is actually a TC Gorilla scope I picked up for like fifty dollars from Walmart. Uh, but the gun itself was like $180, you know, a lifetime warranty. So it's a great rifle. I haven't had any problems out of it at all. Uh, you know, I just let me take this off. This is just a sling I added on. It doesn't come with a gun. Uh, I would recommend it. Now, the gun itself is not that heavy. It's I think it's like six and a half pounds just the gun. Uh, you add scope on there, it's probably almost like seven pounds. Uh, but easy break open action. Uh, very, very, very easy to clean. Uh, anybody can clean it. It's a great rifle if you if you're if you're new in the muzzle loading. Uh, this would I would definitely recommend this rifle. Uh, it's a 50 caliber. Uh, it takes the shotgun 209 primers. Uh, I actually shoot the triple seven 209 primer, primers for muzzle loaders. Uh, I'm sure. I mean, you probably love the shotgun shells too, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. It's made for muzzle loaders. Uh, they work good. You know, there's plenty in here. It'll last you a long time. Uh, the clean wise. It's very, very easy to clean. Uh, when you buy the rifle, it comes with uh, two tools uh, very easily. The breech plug back here is where your 2 and 9 primer goes. One end is made for this. It fits right over top of it. And uh, you basically take it, twist it like that on, on, to, get, to break it loose. Put this back on there. Twist this to spin it out. Now, some of the newer models, the wolves I've seen have the easy, the quick breech plug. I, I don't. This is the old. This is the year before, or uh, the breech plug, the easy out breech plug thing. Uh, and if you see one like this, don't worry. It's still, it's still just as easy to take it out. It's, it's not hard. Uh, some people use bore butter to put on their threads and stuff to when they put their bolt back in. You know, just making sure it's not going to lock or whatever. But I, I use gun oil. It's, I clean it very often, so I don't sit over a long period of time. Uh, but it's just I use actually they do have a muzzle loader uh, <coughs> uh, barrel brush that I've actually used, and this is a 20 gauge shotgun brush. It, it works okay, so it fits good and tight, so I know it's clean and good. Uh, and it doesn't, don't really have to force it in there, so it's really, you don't have to worry about it messing up anything if you're worried about that. Uh, it, 
comes when you're loading your uh, ramrod. Uh, a lot of people mark it when it's, so when you're loading it or whatever. But I I know about you know the pressure I need on it. Uh, I've shot muzzle loaders and had muzzle loaders so long. This tool comes with it. All you know the the toy had to use to break this loose, to break the breech plug loose. Screws in to this end, the brass end of this. It gives you a little bit more length on the rod and when you're cleaning, or if you need a little bit more to to load your rifle. Uh, but it comes with that also. Uh, pretty much the gun comes ready. I mean, you can take it out of the box and it's like I said, it doesn't come with the uh, it doesn't come with the scope, but it does come out of the box ready to go. Uh, put your breech plug back in. You know, put it in with your hand. It's not it's not hard at all. You know, it takes it don't take but about I can do it in probably less than a minute. Uh, but take your time on. Make sure you clean it good. I clean after every shot. A lot of people don't. Uh, I feel I get better accuracy unless I'm in the if when I'm shoot target shooting. Uh, after every shot I clean, but if I'm out hunting and you know in a situation where I harvest a deer and a uh, and I decide to harvest another one, you know at that point I wouldn't. Or if I'm if I shoot one and I want to load it on just in case, I don't stop and take time to clean it right then. Uh, I'll wait until I get back to the house or whatever. But if I'm just outside shooting, trying to slide my scope in, uh, I clean it after every shot. I want to know that it's exactly the same on every shot, you know. Because after you shoot black powder, it builds up a lot of residue in the barrel. And uh, it's a little hard to put your bullet in after that. So I figure what if, it's, if it's a little hard to put it in that time, you know, it might make the accuracy off a little bit. Uh, it may not, but I clean it after every shot. Uh, to take the gun apart, but I mean, it's, it's very easy. Uh, there's a bolt on the back side here. Right here, there's a little, it's a flathead bolt. You just take a screwdriver, break it loose, take it out. Uh, you know, it comes, this comes off. This is your, uh, your forearm, your forearm or whatever. And uh, basically, you, you break it down, you break the rifle down and pull out. And it comes apart. And uh, so you can get in there and really clean all your parts if, after your hunting season is over or whatever, and you really want to do a good cleaning on it. Uh, but you're, you know, you're able to get to everything. You know, your scope stays on your barrel, so you know your scope, your scope's going to be stay on. You know, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, but anyway, just put it back together. Just put it back in there. Lock it back in so it's so it's closed. Put this back on, and just put the bolt back in. And uh, tighten it back up. And that's roughly about it, you know. It's very, like I said, very easy to maintain. Anybody would be able to take this gun, use it. Uh, the kick's not that bad. It's got a, a nice uh, recoil pad on the back of it here. So if people who are not used to a lot of recoil, I mean, it, it fits good. It's got a nice cheek piece right here. Uh, it's up high, so you, you're right there with the, in line with the scope. If you decide to put a scope on there, or you're in line with your sights, if you don't want to use open sights. Uh, but I would recommend uh, if you do decide to buy this scope. I bought this scope from Walmart, like I said, and when I got home, put it on, took that side, and uh, was going to slide in the uh, side the scope in. Uh, first shot was about two and a half foot left. And about the same down. Well, it was either two and a half foot left, two and a half foot right, or two and a half foot up. Two and a half, I can't really remember now. But anyway, they had the dials turned all the way in from the factory. They, they didn't remove them to halfway, or or maybe they do that to all of them. But I would recommend you know bore sighting it first to make sure you're going to be on t on paper, or you're going to waste a lot of ammo. I know I did. I shot. I don't know probably. 20, 25 shots out of it before I even realized that it was like that. You know, I, I messed around with it, messed around with it, and then I got to thinking, well, maybe they left them in. So I turned them out a lot. I mean, I bet I turned it a lot. I don't even really know how many clicks, but I finally got it on paper, 
and uh, that's what it was. It was turned all the dogs were turned all the way in. Uh, the Gorilla Scope's a uh, three by nine by forty. It's got your adjustment here. Uh, three power all the way to nine power. Uh, it's got an eye piece back here. It's got a rotor piece on the end of it. You know, just in case you're too close and it does hit your eye. I have had shot them and you know put a black ring across your eye. You know, doesn't feel too good, but it, it you know adjusts to your eyesight. And uh, it mounts comes with mounting brackets with the with the scope. Uh, mounts directly to the barrel. Uh, and there's holes drilled through the mounts that uh, that your rings fit in. And it locks them in, and I, I really like that because you know you don't have to worry about it moving a whole lot. You know you don't want it to move at all, uh, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, like I said, the trigger pulls easy on it, cocks back easy. Uh, that's basically your safety there. There is no, that is the safety on the gun. If it's not cocked back, it's not fire. It's not ready to fire. Uh, the trigger pull in it is a, uh, it's nice and it's nice and light. It's not too heavy. Uh, it's not the lightest, but it's but if you want to take the time to have the trigger work done on it, I guess you could. But uh, it's fine for me. I, I have no problem with it. Uh, like I said it's a great gun. Uh, I'm a user. I love it. This is what I hunt with every year. I shoot with it. Target shoot with it. I love it. Uh, it's very accurate. I mean, I'm, I'm grouping. Right now, I'm grouping 100 yards pretty good. You know, inch, inch and a half, which is pretty good using. Uh, but what I shoot out of the rifle, I use a 240 grain. Uh, people, some people are not gonna like this, but XTPs. Uh, I feel they're. Well, I don't feel. I know out of my rifle when I shoot that uh, this bullet is probably the ac the most accurate I found uh, to shoot out of this wolf. Uh, I've tried the uh, the Shockwave. Uh, also, they they were they were all right, but they wasn't as accurate as this. I don't doubt it. Some people may have different opinions on that, and that's fine. You don't have to share them with me. I know I've seen a lot of controversy on the XTPs and stuff, but I love shooting the XTPs. Uh, I've harvested a deer with them, so. But I use 240 grain for that, and TC has the pellets or triple seven pellets. I use two. 50 grain pellets, which is 100 grain, uh, and I also bought the cleaning patches, bore cleaners, uh, from TC, the Thompson Center, and uh, they work great. I'd recommend them too. You can get CVA carries a lot of the same stuff uh, if you want to stay CVA. I don't really feel that you know mix matching. It's still okay to mix match, in my opinion. You know, just because I have a CVA doesn't mean I can't put a Thompson Center scope on it. Uh, CBA also has a scope uh, scope kit. Also, I haven't shot with it yet, but I do know I just picked that up at Walmart. It wasn't fifty dollars, so I figured if it shot good, fifty dollars is a pretty good buy. Uh, so I got probably roughly around two hundred fifty in the gun with scope. So I mean, it's value. I rate it very high because I mean, you're buying CBA name, you're buying the quality, their uh, workmanship. Uh, you know, Thompson Center is a great, great company too. Uh, so, I mean, I've got their scope on my rifle, so. Uh, but like I said, you know, I'm sure the CVA would do just as good too if I had that scope on. But like I said, it's, I very highly recommend this rifle to uh, a beginner or even experienced uh, shooter in, in that fact, in that matter. Uh, but you know, you keep your gun old, keep it old. Uh, I wouldn't hold it inside of the outside the guard, you know, do that and uh, use bore solvent nitro cleaner uh, to clean the inside of your barrel and stuff, keep that good and clean. Uh, but that's about it and that's, I just want to call, uh, get on here and give a review of it and, and hope you all enjoy and I hope I helped out if anybody had any questions about this rifle and, uh, and like I said, it's a good shooting gun. Uh, for the price, very hard to beat. Now. You know, if you want to go out and spend four or five hundred dollars, go right ahead. Because I mean, I could probably take this rifle and shoot just as good as the guys that are shooting seven eight hundred dollar rifles. Uh, you know, have the, you know right scope on if you want to hire a better scope. You know, your it's your choice on buying a better scope. But uh, you know, for up to 100, 150 yards, I would say that would probably be a really good buy right there for anybody to have. Uh, thanks for tuning in.